This is the land of Havilah, 1 Chronicles 4. We'll read first, then comment. Verse 1. The sons of Judah, Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Rea, the son of Shobal, became the father of Jahath, and Jahath became the father of Ahumai and Lahad. These are the families of the Zorathites. Comment. That was the ancestry of the town of Zorah in Judea. When the Israelites entered the land, they pushed the Canaanites out and inhabited their cities, assigning cities by family. In many cases, they renamed the cities after the name of one of their forebears. Perez, a son of Judah, was born in Genesis 38 and migrated to Egypt with the family, Genesis 46.12. We don't know any personal details about his descendants just listed. Verse 3. These were the sons of the father of Etam, Jezreel, Ishma, and Idbash. The name of their sister was Hazalel Pani. Penuel was the father of Gedor and Ezer, the father of Husha. These are the sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrath, the father of Bethlehem. Comment in verses 3 and 4, the people listed are descended from Judah's great-great-grandson Hur and his wife Ephrath. They populated the Judean towns of Etam, Jezreel, and Bethlehem. Verse 5. Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hela and Nara. Nara bore Mahuzam, Hefer, Temeni, and Hashtari. These were the sons of Nara. The sons of Hela were Zareth, Izhar, and Ethnan. Comment. Tekoa was near Bethlehem. Tekoans descended from Asher of the tribe of Judah and his two wives, Hela and Nara. Their names on a list to us, but to the people of Tekoa, those verses connected them with their Israelite heritage. Coming up, we don't know the genealogy of Hakaz, but by context, we might assume he was descended from Judah. Verse 8. Hakaz became the father of Anub, Zobeba, and the families of Aharhel, the son of Haram. Comment. Now another name out of the blue that we don't know how to connect, except that we're in a section dealing with Judah. Verse 9. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother named him Jabez, saying, Because I bore him with sorrow. Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my border. May your hand be with me, and may you keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. God granted him that which he requested. Comment, Jabez was the name of a man and the name of a Judean town, 1 Chronicles 2.55. Maybe the town was named after the man. His mother bore him with sorrow, which is the meaning of his name. Maybe she didn't want another mouth to feed. Maybe the labor was too hard. Maybe she just lost a loved one. No telling why she was sorrowful at the time of his birth. It seems like a desperate name to hang on a child, so she must have been disturbed indeed. After such a rocky start, Jabez prayed that God would enlarge his border. He wanted more land or more something. He prayed God's hand would be with him, meaning, help me out, please. And he prayed, keep me from evil that I don't cause pain. Amen. Maybe he had seen his mother in pain and didn't want to be the cause of anyone suffering like that. In verse 10, God granted him that which he requested. Coming up, we have no information on any of the following other than what's here. Verse 11. Cheleb, the brother of Shua, became the father of Mehir, who was the father of Eshton. Eshton became the father of Beth Rapha, Basea, and Tihana the father of Ir Nahash. These are the men of Rakah. Coming up, Othniel was half-brother of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Caleb who made himself famous in the Exodus, Joshua 15, 17. Othniel took kiriath Sefer from the Canaanites and in so doing won Oxah, Caleb's daughter, as wife, Joshua 15, 17. Verse 13. The sons of Kenaz, Othniel and Sereah, the sons of Othniel, Hathath, Melnathai became the father of Ophrah, and Sareah became the father of Joab, the father of Geharashim, for they were craftsmen. Comment, it seems those were all descended from Caleb's brother Othniel. Now coming Caleb himself, hero of the Exodus. Verse 15. The sons of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Ira, Elah, and Naam, the son of Elah, Kenaz. Comment now for a list of sons descended from Jehalalel, who might be descended from Caleb. Verse 16. The sons of Jehalalel, Ziph, Zipha, Teriah, and Asarel. Comment, Ziph became a village in Judah, Joshua 15, 24. The other sons of Jehalalel 
are completely obscure. Verse 17, The sons of Ezra, Jether, Mered, Ephra, and Jalon, and she bore Miriam, Shimei, and Ishbath, the father of Eshtemoa. His wife, the Jewess, bore Jared, the father of Gidor, Heber, the father of Soko, Jekuthiel, the father of Zenoah. These are the sons of Bethiah, the daughter of Pharaoh, whom Mered took. Comment, that was somewhat decipherable. It was the origins of the Judean towns of Eshtemoa, Gidor, Soko, and Zenoah. Those townsmen descended from Mered, son of Ezra. Ezra's line of descent from Judah is missing. Somehow, Mered was able to marry Bethiah, a daughter of Pharaoh, plus he married a second wife who was of the tribe of Judah. They probably lived in Egypt before the Exodus. Their descendants populated those towns. Verse 19, The sons of the wife of Hodiah, the sister of Naham, were the father of Kelah, the Garmite, and Eshtemoa, the Maacathite. Comment, the names are unknown, but Kela and Eshtemoa were Judean towns. Those townspeople were descended from Hodiah and his unnamed wife. Her name's unknown even to the writer of the genealogy. She's only identified as the sister of Naham, who appears only in this verse. Now some more names unique to this passage, verse 20. The sons of Shimon, Amnon, Rena, Ben-Hanan, and Tylon, the sons of Ishi, Zoheth, and Ben-Zoheth. Comment, going all the way back to Judah and some of his lesser-known descendants, verse 21, the sons of Shelah, the son of Judah, Ur, the father of Leka, Leada, the father of Maresha, and the families of the house of those who worked fine linen of the house of Ashbeah, and Jochim, and the men of Koziba, and Joash, and Seraph, who had dominion in Moab, and Joshabelahem. These records are ancient, these were the potters and the inhabitants of the Netaim and Gadara. They lived there with the king for his work. Comment, we knew about Judah's sons Shelah and Ur from Genesis 38, but we didn't know Shelah and Ur had sons until now. They're mentioned here only. Some of them settled in Moab, which was the foreign country on the opposite shore of the Dead Sea from Judah. They were potters for the king of Moab. Now we switch to the tribe of Simeon. Simeon's territory was completely within the confines of southern Judah. They were an island within Judah. Simeon was the second of Jacob's twelve sons. After that, verse 24, the sons of Simeon, Nemuel, Jamin, Jerob, Zerah, Shaul. Comment, that list differs significantly from the list given in Genesis 46.10. We can't identify any of Simeon's descendants coming up from any other passages, just this one. Now from Simeon's son, Shaul, verse 25. Shalom his son, Mibsam his son, and Mishma his son, the sons of Mishma, Hamuel his son, Zakur his son, Shimei his son. Shimei had 16 sons and 6 daughters, but his brothers didn't have many children, and all their family didn't multiply like the children of Judah. Comment, those descendants occupied the following Simeon towns, verse 28. They lived at Beersheba, Molada, Hazar, Shual, at Bilhah, at Ezim, at Tolad, at Bethuel, at Horma, at Ziklag, at Beth Markabath, Hazar Susam, at Beth Beri, and at Sharaim. Those were their cities until David's reign. Comment, it seems that over the years the people of Simeon and Judah mixed together with the result that the Simeonites somewhat lost their identity. Geographically, Simeon sort of disappeared. Everything south of Jerusalem was simply called Judah. Verse 32. Their villages were Etam, Ain, Ramon, Tochin, and Ashan, five cities, and all their villages that were around the same cities to Baal. These were their settlements, and they have their genealogy. Comment, the books of the Chronicles are Judah-centric, there's no in-depth consideration of the other tribes. In verse 33, referring to Simeon, quote, they have their genealogy, end quote. Coming up, not all Simeonites failed to multiply, verse 34. Meshobab, Jamlech, Joshua, the son of Amaziah, Joel, Jehu, the son of Jeshibiah, the son of Sareah, the son of Asiel, Elioenai, Jehoiakabah, Jeshiheah, Asaiah, Adiel, Jesimiel, Benaiah, and Ziza, the son of Shiphi, the son of Alan, the son of Judea, the son of Shimri, the son of Shemaiah. 
These mentioned by name were princes in their families. Their father's houses increased greatly. Comment. Coming up long after David, during the reign of Hezekiah, some of the Simeonites went on the offensive and captured some good pasture land being occupied by foreigners. Gedor seems to have been in the highlands between Jerusalem and Hebron. Verse 39. They went to the entrance of Gedor, even to the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. They found fat pasture and good, and the land was wide and quiet and peaceful, for those who lived there before were descended from Ham. These, written by name, came in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and struck their tents, the Meunim who were found there, and they destroyed them utterly to this day, and lived in their place, because there was pasture there for their flocks. Comment. Coming up, another group of Simeonites captured territory south of the Dead Sea at Mount Seir. Verse 42. Some of them, even of the sons of Simeon, 500 men, went to Mount Seir, having for their captains Pelatiah, Neriah, Rephaiah, and Uziel, the sons of Ishi. They struck the remnant of the Amalekites who escaped and have lived there to this day. Comment. First Chronicles 5 is next. You can find the links listed in order at landofhavilah.net, 1 Chronicles 5.